Wahoo. Stand by. More corn. Wine. It's a blend. California. Mmm. I like it. <laughs> Delicious. Unbelievable. You want some? I know you do. That's about 600. That's about 3,500. Now I could adjust it down. Inside here there's little pots that you change around. You see? You could just you could have it stop and then speed it up from stop, but I like it I like it right here. I like it. Now let's try it out. speed about 1,000. 120 grit belt. Go. Three to four passes generally so you can get the good fur on the other side. Sometimes two, depending on the knife, depending on the steel, depending on other factors. Speed motor is nice. The last of the tickets. This is a 3M Scotch Bright though. Fine. It's blue in color. If it were gray, it would be extra fine. If it was medium, it would be burgundy or purple in color. I use it to take the burr off from the 120 grit belt. It's called a conditioning belt by 3M. It does remove just a tiny bit of metal, but not much. You know what a 3M scratch pad is. Same principle. It just takes off that little burr and blends the uh, scratch marks almost to non-existence. Now I either go 
through to a 240 grit belt, or maybe go straight to four to 600 after this, depends. Depends on how they look and how they feel. To me. Where it really excels is in the serrated blades. Turn it sideways on the edge. That blending belt really works on the serrated. It's unbelievable how nice a job it does. Now here I have a linen belt. Linen, L-I-N-E-N, -E linen. There's no grit, it's just a plain belt. I use it to take off the final little bit of burr and to sharpen the knife. I do add a, a touch of green compound, providing I can find it. Green compound from Japan. Koyo, I think it's called. But only a little bit. And theoretically, I could stop right here. So this sharpens it, holds it up a little bit, takes that burr off, and polishes it. But sometimes I do follow up on leather. Theoretically, I'm finished now. Some people put uh, Ken Swartz's diamond paste on here. The diamond paste is really nice, I can tell you. The diamond paste comes in emulsions like this. You shake it up, it's water based, and you just spread it on here with your finger. This is a .05 cubic boron nitrate and this is emulsion 4 micron. I've got it at 8, I've got it at 2. It's just not handy where I can show it to you. Diamond, oops, somebody called me, stand by. Hey. Hey. Hold on a minute. Okay, I was one of the car dealerships I've been dealing with. I got to run over there and uh, see what kind of deal we're talking about on a truck. I'll get back to you in a little while. Well, we're home. Rancho Max. I need some comments on this OnStar thing. Telephone. Uh, it's over my head. Comments, comments. OnStar. Should I get it? It's good for six months for free home at Rancho Max I threw uh, 16 years of stuff <laughs> my little truck look this truck is deep that's the only thing is I can't even reach the bottom of it so much room in it but it's big a whole lot different than that rice burner I had I'll sort that all out tomorrow. Dale Gateway's 800 pounds. Oh my God. Where do I start? But look what I found. Alkaline pack for my E-Track when I had it. It was buried in the door like this one under about 300 napkins. Let's see if there's a manual on this thing. I didn't even check. Oh my god, there is one. I guess I have to get it out there. Look at it. Okay, that's it. The leaders will be home in a minute. I got to finish up these knives I started. I almost finished, you know. I got a. I got the leather belt on now. I got it on the 
rough there's a smooth side like I told you I put mine the opposite from a lot of people I like the rough side out for kitchen knives kitchen knives keyword Japanese green compound we're ready to go Barn any unforeseen setbacks as the new uh, detecting mobile, knife sharpening mobile, Chevrolet Colorado, crew cab. That means that Jack and Dottie can ride now. I want to put my knife gear in here. All I do is pull this string right here. And it folds down flat like that. When it rains, I can stick all my stuff right in here. Not bad, huh? This is the deep it, my arm. In my other truck, I can reach down. I can't even get close to the floorboard in this sucker. Man. It's got steps right there where you can put your big feet in there to get inside this thing. Chris is hollering about bed liner. I have to get one, I guess, to keep her happy. But not right away. I'm financially embarrassed right now. Not a bad taquito. Yes, sir. Even the guru can ride in here. Got all that on star crap, which I know nothing about. Backup cameras. Unbelievable. Okay. I guess I might be driving it home. If not, I'll get it tomorrow. Stand by for more. Well, I'm sitting here reading the manual. Another manual, I should say. It'd take a Philadelphia lawyer to figure out all this crap. God knows. That's why I'm looking for comments. For leadership. 